us. So here's the list from the leaders. I asked them if I could share it and they said yes. And they are calling it Get Cracking with Tracking. And so the first thing that they had on their list from leaders about tracking is that the enemy wants to distract us, which I like that little contraction, distract us. He wants to distract us. And so not filling out a tracker is a distraction. Um, the other thing is that tracking uh, isn't the enemy. A lot of people feel like, oh, we don't like our tracker or we, we, we have negative thoughts about tracking. And you guys, there's a little raise your hand here. So if you have ever had negative uh, you could raise your hand. I'll raise mine because I've had negative thoughts about tracking myself. So I'm, I'm unraising my hand, but I understand that. But their thing is the enemy doesn't want us to track. It's not that the tracker is the enemy. It's the enemy doesn't want us to track. So I thought that was a good play on too. They're smart. These leaders know what they're talking about. They have been trying to get people to track for a long time. All right. Positives about tracking. Tracking helps us count the cost. And they listed, you know, how much did that uh, food that I just ate cost? A lot of us can think of our tracker as a daily budget, a budget on I'm supposed to have this many fruits and vegetables and this many calories could be thought of as money. And so I thought that was a good idea. And I, if any of us do the Dave Ramsey, we have different envelopes. So you could think of your fruits and your vegetables and your grains as your envelopes. And you're supposed to have so much of this each day. And I like that thought process. So tracking helps us count the cost. Tracking is a spiritual tool. I like this one. And then they say, or in parentheses, a weapon against gluttony. So it could be a weapon too. Your, your tracker could be a spiritual tool, or we can think of that as a weapon, like the sword that's like through the lies that we want to tell ourselves. All right, that was four. Number five, tracking in advance becomes a menu plan. Now there is somebody on this call right now this webinar right now, I saw her name. She was in my group. She lost over a hundred pounds. And that was one of the things that I learned from her is she would fill out her tracker the night before in pencil. And it helped. I remember her saying it took away all of the angst that she had about food, but they said tracking in advance becomes a menu plan. How about that? We could plan tomorrow before the end of the day and, and write it in pencil and that could be the menu plan for tomorrow. Mm. Our tracker can, tracking in advance can be your menu plan. Or you could just do it at breakfast if you want. You know, if you always, breakfast would be okay too. All right, um, number six, tracking is freedom. Hmm. Well, I'm in the middle of Be Free, the Bible study by Gary Meacham. And that is so true. She talks a lot about that. Our tracker shows us when, how, and what we can eat and what we did eat. And that is freedom, like knowing what's up, being aware, paying attention. It's a freedom. And a lot of times we kind of want to be, nah, 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 you know, or we we're in the dark because we don't want to write it down. Okay. Seven tracking is a reference. It shows us what we aren't getting enough of. And I like that. As a new leader, um, I make I ask everybody to track for at least two weeks with the paper tracker because I want to make sure they understand how many fruits are you supposed to get, how many vegetables, what's a grain, um, and so that becomes a reference. It helps us understand what we're eating, and then finally, tracking keeps us honest or in the truth. So that's number eight. Can I get more? You can all raise your hands again. Tracking does keep us honest or in truth. And sometimes we don't eat something because we don't want to write it on the tracker. And that worked, I think. You know, if you don't, if you don't want to write it on the tracker, that's a good thing. All right. So Beth, whew, I am going to do a poll now, guys, because now I've filled you guys with all these ideas on why track. We thought we would just do an easy, this is an easy poll. We just want to know. Do you track? So we have 49% of the people say sometimes and 32% say yes and 20%, 19% say no. 
And uh, I like the whole idea about, I always like to think on the positive. So that means that 50, 80% of the people, <laughs> that's how I look at it, Beth, 80% of the people are doing something. So that's pretty good. We have a lot of believers here on this call, I guess. Thank you.